ungrateful little brat. How dare you run off and go to someone and complain how bad you have it here? I said look at me! Seven days, really. You run off for seven days and dragging your brother into all your crap. I cannot believe you. I'm leaving again. I think this time we should go to Dad's. Come on, get up. Give me a hug. I said give me a hug. He doesn't want you, Dad. Come here, little. Lindsay? I'm here. Are you okay? What about Dad? He, he fell and hit his head on the dresser. That's what stopped him. Is he dead? I don't know. I don't think so. He's done this to me before, Wyatt. I think he's still breathing. <sighs> Pack your bags. We gotta get out of here. Where are we gonna go? I'll call Reverend Keys. Check his pockets and just in case he has any money for a hotel or something. I'm not checking his pockets. I will. Go get our bags. We ran away again. Mom was meaner than ever as soon as her keys left. So we went to Dad's, but he started drinking again, and it wasn't pretty. Reverend Keys will be surprised to see you. He's still at work. Uh, late meeting. He should be home shortly. Let me get you something dry. I don't have anything your size, but at least it'll be dry. She doesn't seem too pleased to see us. You think she would be? Here, you can begin to dry. And I'll go look for a couple of t-shirts and some shorts for you. Welcome to the Wyatt Monroe Fashion Extravaganza. Oh boy. Nice dress. <laughs> Those are a little large, aren't they? <laughs> Let me go get a belt, a rope, or something for you to tie everything up with. <laughs> I know where we can stay. <laughs> 